Hey guys, it's Randy with Low Buck LS again here. Uh, just gonna hop on real quick. I just learned something new, so wanted to share it with you guys. Um, uh, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to disable your torque management when the brake is on, or basically like when you're at idle in drive at a stoplight or stop sign. remember a few videos back I was doing my idle tuning after my cam swap and I was having trouble getting it to idle well in drive with my foot on the brake and so I ended up disabling the torque management by zeroing out the table but I found a better way of doing that um, because the problem with doing that is you zero out your torque management everywhere so um, even when you're um, on shifts or whatever like when your transmission is shifting you're not going to have that torque management and I've still got the stock 4L60E transmission with a lot of miles on it so I want to give that thing every chance or <laughs> every hope of surviving although um, you'll see when we uh, go for our next test test drive if I turn the boost up it uh, it's already feeling a little iffy on the 2-3 shift but uh, anyways I'll hop on the computer here and uh, show you guys how to uh, disable that it's called brake torque management in HP tuners so we'll fire up the computer here and I'll show you how to do that okay guys yeah like I said um, before I found this little uh, trick or one setting to change in order to get my truck to idle in drive with my foot on the brake I had to zero out the torque management so the table I had zeroed out to get my truck to idle was this spark retard versus torque reduction so I've put it all back to the stock settings but in order to get my truck to idle before I had to make this table all zeros so but what allowed me to put this back to the stock settings was going into system and under the general tab system options and I should show you I think I've got my stock tune open here we can compare see in the stock file this um, under it's the GMT 800 body style this brake torque management was set to a 1 so I ended up changing that to a 0 this is the tune I've got in my truck right now and that is a 0 and the only other catch is when you write this tune to the truck you can't just do the right calibration you have to do the right entire so it takes a little longer but I think it's because you're changing your system settings but anyways after changing that brake torque management from a 1 to a 0 that basically disables your torque management when your foot is on the brake like when you're in drive at a stoplight so um, now that I've changed that from a 1 to a 0 um, my truck idles the way it should in park and the torque management will still work if I want it to when you know during shifts because I'm a little concerned that my uh, still run on the stock 4L60E and it's got a lot of miles on it so basically uh, I'd still like to have the torque management uh, active during gear changes because I want to give that thing uh, every chance or hope of survival until there's enough money in the budget for some transmission upgrades so um, anyways I'll wrap this one up um, yeah that's just uh, something new I learned today so um, we'll have a couple more videos coming up here soon uh, boost controller and uh, catch can install slash PCV delete so um, we'll get working on those but just wanted to uh, kind of share this little uh, trick or thing I discovered here so talk to you on the next one bye for now